Imagine you've created two personal LoRa's in Flux, meaning you can create photos in Flux with your own face or your girlfriend, but you're not sure how to generate an image with two people in it at the same time to produce a wedding photo, because in Flux LoRa's are only combinable, not separable, and can't be created independently. This video is for you. With this technique, you can create a wedding photo of yourself and your girlfriend. Though, of course, that's only if you actually plan on it someday. Let's go. To get us started, we'll enter Comfy UI. If you're hearing about Comfy UI for the first time, make sure watch this video, the one shown here, where I explain in detail how to install and use Comfy UI on your system. Also, if you're not familiar with personal LoRa's or how to create photos of yourself or your loved ones using Flux and AI, go watch this video. In it, I explain in full detail how you can have and use personal LoRa's. Once you have seen those videos, come back here and continue watching this one. Now, assuming you've watched those two videos and fully understand them, we can get started. If you have a personal LoRa, Flux can easily generate photos for you. If you give it two LoRa's, meaning one for Mr. A's face and one for Mr. B's, or it could be a woman's, and you want to tell the AI to create a face with these two people, the AI won't be able to distinguish between them. Why? If you found the video helpful so far, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Creating videos like this takes a lot of time and effort and your likes and shares really motivate me to keep making more high quality detailed tutorials. Because the LoRa node in Comfy UI only combines them, it doesn't separate them. Even if you add a hundred LoRa's here, the AI will combine them all and give you a final image with all of them. So what can we do to make it distinguish between them? I will explain with an example. Here I have an image with two people made from two LoRa's. In the picture, you see the real photos of both the first and second person. Now I want to create an image with both of these people in it. Assuming we've already created the personal LoRa's for these two individuals, downloaded the files and placed them in the LoRa's folder. We enter Comfy UI and open this workflow. In this workflow, I also explain in this video how you can use Flux to generate high quality images in 8 step. This is the fastest workflow for Flux, so I highly recommend having it. If you don't have it, I've provided the workflow in the description of this video, so you don't have to go elsewhere to download it. But if you want to run Flux in 8 steps, you should watch this video and learn how to run Flux in 8 step at high speed. Be sure to check out that video as well. So, what do we do now? After downloading the workflow, we drag it into Comfy UI and it opens here. You can see that I've added two LoRa's in the LoRa section. Why? My first LoRa is the ADS Seb LoRa, which I explained before in my previous videos. This one must be present here. It's not a personal LoRa, it's the ADS Seb LoRa for the main Flux model. I enter a prepared prompt and with both LoRa's active and their weights set to 0.95, I run it. Now let's look at the final result. You can see that both faces were created by combining these two LoRa's. The face on the right is a blend of these two LoRa's and the face on the left is also a blend of the two. So the AI hasn't been able to separate them. No matter how much you adjust the prompt, it doesn't recognize them as separate. So what do we do here? We turn off one of the LoRa's, leaving only one face in the active LoRa. I'm turning off the second LoRa and then clicking on generate. Now the image produced shows both people with this LoRa's face. The woman's face is made by the first LoRa and the man's face too. This LoRa generation gives us one acceptable result, where the woman's face is fine but the man's face is made by woman's feature which we don't want. Now, what do we do? You keep generating and clicking on Q prompt until you achieve the result you're satisfied with, meaning an image that you're happy with. Once you're satisfied with your image, go here and fix your seed in the noise random node, meaning we save this exact seed. Now we turn off the first LoRa and turn on the second LoRa and then hit Q prompt. This time it will create the same image with almost the same pose and setting as the previous one but with the second person's LoRa. If you find that the result 
doesn't quite match your first image and they don't look similar since we are planning to overlay these two images mask out one person's face and replace it with the another's you can set noise random to increment or decrement and start generating a few more images select one with the closest post lighting color and everything to your original image and download it now you have two images with faces from two different people we will keep the face on the right in one image and the one on the left in another for this i'm using photoshop as i tested it in comfy ui and it's a bit tricky here but in photoshop i'll briefly show you how to overlay the two images and mask one face to replace it with the other you can use any photo editing softwares for this you could do it in CapCut, canva or photoshop i'm using photoshop because i prefer it and i find it easier if any of you are skilled in another softwares please let me know in the comments now let's open Photoshop. We'll take the first image we created and drag it into Photoshop. Then drag in the second image with the face of the second person. Since both images are the same size, they'll align perfectly. Now right click on this layer and choose rasterize layer to make it a normal layer. To see if two images are well aligned together, I mean the faces, we decrease the opacity of this layer to a point that we can see both faces of both images. Now I zoom in by holding the Alt key and scroll mouse wheel up. With the move tool, I can move the top layer and see how it matches the bottom one. We can see here that second layer face of the woman is a bit larger than the first one. To align them and match them exactly on top of each other, we press Ctrl plus T on keyboard to rescale the second image. And like this, I will decrease its size. Hold Alt and scroll the mouse wheel backward to zoom out. Okay, not bad. And I press Enter and turn back the opacity to 100. Now we just want the woman's face. I hold the Alt key and press Mask to make a black mask for the second image. The mask meaning is wherever you see blacks, it means you can't see this image. And wherever you paint it white, you can see this image on the white areas. Simply choose the brush tool and set the flow to 80 and choose the white color for the foreground color. You can switch them by clicking this button or pressing X on your keyboard. If you have different colors here, for example, red and green, easily press D on your keyboard to turn them to their default color, which is black and white. And by pressing X, you can switch them. Now we want the white color to expose our second image. Select the mask and press D to make it to default colors and start painting on these areas. Don't forget to right click on your screen and decrease the hardness to zero because we want very soft edge circle for brushing. By left bracket key and right bracket key you can decrease or increase your brush size just like that. Or you can use this handle. Now I'm going to brush to make the second image appear. Now I press Ctrl T to make it larger to make faces close together. Just like that. And I press Enter and again select brush and white color and start brushing these areas. If you want to hidden some parts of this image, press X to choose black color and again brush to hide that. Just like that. And we are done. You can see we made it. It's before and it's after. Hold the Alt key and press here on the mask that you see where areas you painted with white and where you are missed. And again, I hold Alt key and press again. To save the image, just hold Ctrl, Alt, Shift and press W to pop up the export as window. You can choose the format. I choose PNG and hit export and give it a name and press save just like that. Thanks for watching. I see you in the next videos.